when I touch someone, I feel their pain. And then I decide, based on that feeling, what might be good physical action. And there's a transfer of energy that occurs, however it occurs. Is it coming from me? Well, to the extent that I'm a personality, yes, I might dictate the way that it goes. But to the extent that I'm completely open, then the energetic source is not the personality. It has to go through the body, so depending on what condition my body is. So what I do before a class or before working on someone, make sure I'm in a good place before I work on them. Otherwise, you have nothing to give. You can't heal people, including yourself. Including yourself. You cannot heal anyone, including yourself. So who, who's the first person that has to heal? If you don't have a charged battery inside of you, you can't heal another person. So if you're going to heal another person, you have to make sure you're charged. And who's the first person you have to make sure is charged? You have to make sure you are charged. That's the first place. And there's always a transfer of energy that goes on from this particular physical form to another particular physical form. But it's not an individual that heals. It's like life heals. And to the extent that you can, as a personality, get out of the way, when you can bypass your own judgments or biases and see the person clearly and the only way you can do that is to get out of <laughs> get away from your own personality and just sense in a deep way when you get out of the way then you don't color the energy you heal by feeling someone who's maybe in slightly better condition than you. It doesn't have to be a lot. It doesn't have to be a lot of difference. Maybe, you know, I have problems in other ways. And when I come to you, I put energy of a certain kind because that's where I'm good. You see someone suffering and you have opportunity to touch that person. And if you touch that person from the depth of the energy that you got from inside your own heart, if you touch them with that, they feel it. If someone's very peaceful, has tremendous amount of energy, you can feel it. What becomes most important? How clear can I be in my mind? How vital can I be in my energy? And it's not a matter of making myself comfortable because then I won't grow. I have to challenge myself to grow, to get stronger. I have to take risks to accomplish something. If I'm fearful and I hide all the time, then I'm not going to grow. So you have to take some risks. You have to build some energy. You have to have clarity of mind. You have to create stillness, silence, and space. If you do these things, you're smiling in the midst of controversy and <laughs> deceit and war and famine and everything else and you have a possibility of helping people and you have a possibility of letting your life become meaningful in a different way. <laughs>